Uh, so what I had was I had a client who came to me and said, hey, we want to uh, have a, a purchase order request process in Power Apps. I'm like, hey, no problem. We do that all the time. He said, but the thing we want to do is after the purchase order is approved, we want to send a purchase order to the actual um, end customer or the, uh, the, the end vendor. We want the vendor to you know, receive the, the PDF. And to, today they were making those very manually by hand after the process was going through. So with a little, um, little uh, elbow grease, little engineering, I figured out that if you combine the power of Power Apps for you know, facilitating the input of the purchase order information, the approval processes, you know, all the sorting and filtering, all the normal purchase order stuff, you could then have it take that output of an approved PO and send it over to Flow. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have Flow take that input and convert it to a uh, HTML document because once it's in an HTML format, then Flow can uh, convert an HTML to a PDF. And so then once you've got a you know a warm PDF in hand, it's pretty easy to uh, ship that off. So my app here is not uh, right. I do not want to try and show a whole uh, purchase order app. So we went pretty straightforward here. So what we're going to do is just we're going to put some text in here and we're going to say two chains is better than one. I mean, my, might even spell it right, but probably not better than one. Um, I did not say anything that I would spell anything correctly. And so we're going to press this magical button. And you can see the little uh, ants marching across the screen. All right, it is done. And so if we go and look over here in OneNote or OneDrive, and I put them in OneDrive because this was the easiest place for me to uh, kind of have as a stopping off point. I don't think – so there is – the PDF actions are tied to OneDrive, but the file doesn't have to live there at the end. So I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I'm not using OneDrive. This doesn't apply. I just happen to shove them out here because this was easiest for me. And so what you can see is that a few seconds ago, this file HTML was updated. And so if we click on this file, what we should see is, yep, your invoice, um, your invoice and then two chains is better than one. So that was the text that we pushed over from uh, Power Apps. And so then now that that is went, shortly later, if we refresh the screen again, we should see that about a minute ago, my file two PDF was updated. So we had the HTML files where I just showed you. So now if we go into the PDF, woohoo, we have a working PDF document. And so just to make it easy to demo, I just stuck the content here, but you could put the content anywhere in this mix. So for the actual customer, right, we're filling in all these blanks around their purchase order. All right, so let's jump over and take a look at how that works. And also, as I'm going through this, uh, you guys feel free to post questions in the chat. Um, Shane number two is watching these, and he will kind of interrupt me and say, hey, you know, somebody who's not named Shane asked a really great question, and we'll, uh, we'll kind of pause and do that. So Hopefully there isn't a lot of Shanes watching. Hopefully there is. I mean, we want to have a collection. Right? I'm trying to start a world order of Shanes, so – Okay, so this is my um, my flow. And so this first action is just a simple, hey, uh, go out to, or, you know, Power Apps is going to trigger this, right? So this is what we do. Power Apps says, all right, do a flow. And so then we're going to um, get the file contents of the logo file, right? If you remember when we were over here, right, we had this nice little logo, right? We have a company logo on our, our uh, purchase orders. This is in 1985, so there's our logo. Then I went and initialized a couple variables. And so the first thing I had to do was the logo, basically the way that the logo file was stored wasn't working. Uh, the, the file format, the, uh, the HTML file couldn't figure out what was going on with that. So there's a great little function that, and we'll talk about this one again in a little bit later, but what this function does is it's going to change the logo into a, uh, a data URI, right? So instead of passing the image file itself, it's going to convert that to a data URI, and we're going to save that as a, in a variable called logo. And this, right? So we're serializing this so we can incorporate it into our um, HTML. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for the logo. Then what we're going to do is we need the HTML 
for the HTML file, right? So, and I could have made that down here, but I pulled it up into its own expression to kind of give myself the maximum flexibility. And I'm going to apologize now. This is really difficult to read. Um, and there's not a good way for me to show this to you. There is a video that kind of walks you through all this. So if you're like dying to know all the dirty details, don't try and take those notes here. Just know there is a, a YouTube video that would walk you through, you know, for 20 or 30 minutes, how all this works. But basically what I did was I'm going to use the concat expression in um, flow, which combines multiple strings. And so my first string is just a bunch of HTML, right? Doc type HTML. I mean, this is just pure, the HTML you guys learned to write a million years ago. And then I'm going to do a comma. So I says, okay, all of this before the comma, that's that first string. Then I want to combine a second string. And that second string is that uh, encoded version of the logo, right? That's that variable that we made in the previous step. So then there is, so it's just putting that in line into the HTML. So that'll work. Then we go down here, you know, some more HTML. So we're just tying all this together. And then the third and last most important piece is we're also going to get, uh, wait, that's not the one I wanted to show you. Is it? Yeah, it is the one I want to show. And so then what this one is, sorry, I confused myself, is that this is uh, initialized variable value. This is the value that we were doing from getting from Power Apps. So we said get value from Power Apps. And then that pulled in the uh, the text that we typed. Remember, we typed over here, two Shanes is better than one. So when we typed that in, that pulled it in. And so that's how that piece of text got in here. And then the rest of this is just more of the concatenation or the HTML. So all of this to put together just one big blob of HTML. So then we could go over to OneDrive and say, all right, I want to create a file. I named it file to HTML because I'm very creative with my names. And then I just dumped that variable in there. So that's how we got not this file, but this file to HTML. And then what we're going to do is we're saying, all right, I want to convert file using path. So go get the path of that file, right? So we use the dynamic variable uh, or the, yeah, the dynamic uh, environment the dynamic content, that's what I'm trying to say. Path, right, from create file. Where is it? So there's create file. And so in here, there's the path. So go get that same file and convert that file into a PDF. Pretty fancy. And this is where you ha I had to use uh, OneNote because one, or not OneNote, OneDrive, because OneDrive is one of the few that have this uh, convert PDF action. And then now that I have that conversion, I have it created, I have it like hovering in flow space then I take the output of this, right, which is called file content, and make a file called my file 2 PDF. And that's how we got that fab tabulous PDF that we were able to take a look at. So this is a, a great example, though, of, you know, I needed to get outside the box. I needed to kind of go and, you know, do something with Power Apps that Power Apps didn't really know how to do. So I almost always go to my buddy Flo and combine the, the power of the two of them, and that's how we get uh, through these type of things.